tough season. It's going to be uh, interesting. Yeah. Sorry, Steve. Yeah. So. Well, oh, as much as I want to talk about these cards, I'm not liking these guys. I got JF. <laughs> <laughs> JF Sove. I remember JF Sove slightly. I think he's Bob Sove's brother. So therefore, Philippe Sove. He's of course. Uh, I don't think he did too much, and Sabres Rochester Sabres on this card, so yeah, he spent 56 games for Rochester, and yeah, obviously French. Oh. Huh. I got Timu Solani on the Ducks, and uh, I believe still on the Ducks. Yeah, pretty sure. Big no, guys. No, I'm pretty damn sure. <laughs> yeah. uh, we all know Timu. Uh, boom, boom, yeah, boom. yeah, Timu. Back in the day, he's still producing though. I think yeah. that lockout, everyone says it really helped him out and got his well, legs underneath him. Well, he looked like he was going to pack it in there. He sat out from him and Niedermeyer for a portion of the season. Yeah. I thought that might be it. Was that their cup run or was that the year uh, after? Maybe it was the year after. Nevertheless, uh, I thought that would be it for him. And then. Uh, Even last year, big power play guy. So it's, and he's there again this year. Now Koibu's over on the docks. It's, you never know. Exactly. I think Solani, like, whatever. Obviously, he can score. And, he will, but... Yeah, he's a future Hall of Famer. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, speaking of Hall of Famers and someone that uh, needs no introduction, um, but was discussed a lot this summer and a lot recently and negatively, which is a shame because I'm pretty sure I've professed my love for him. We have a game-winning goal leader card for 81-82, and this is Wayne. These are stuck together. <laughs> Chandler? Uh, <laughs> you love him, man. Uh, Wayne Gretzky. Yeah, so that's not a big surprise that he uh, was the leader for game-winning goals. Trotje, Bossy, Middleton, Glenn Anderson, Barry Peterson. Some interesting old-school names. And nice picture. Oh, it's, uh, yeah. It's kind of like your painted style. Yeah. Yeah, I remember these cards. I had these cards as a kid. It's great. I have Thomas Volkun here on the Predators now with the Florida Panthers. Uh, Their starting goaltender, Craig Anderson, now has gone over to Colorado as far as the, uh, their backup. So I, I would say it's clearly Tivo's Tivo. Is that what they call him? I think so. Yeah. Volky? Yeah. I don't know. I think yeah. it's Tivo. But good goaltender. Check, it's, right? He's a check. Yeah, he's a check. Right. Uh, I don't know. Like so. Yeah, he's all right. Good, yeah. number one goaltender, but yeah, he's got more, a team in front more of impressive yeah. than my next guy. I have one. <laughs> <laughs> this is like duds. Yeah, these are duds. Well, they probably what they do with these rack packs, they probably go through and yeah. pick out the good ones. There's 1795 actually for this set of 51 cards, right? So and more for the show than for as a collector would buy yeah. them because you know somebody's went through. I would think picked out the good ones. Need them, got them, <laughs> sealed them back up with some shrink wrap. I don't know. They had ones on the wall um, for like 30 bucks, but that's only because you could see Ron Francis' rookie card. Oh, jeez. Right, so, you know. Anyway, nevertheless, I got Mark Osborne here for my Detroit Red Wings. Uh, everyone knows Mark Osborne had a stint or two for the Leafs. Um, his second stint, I think he played with Peter Zezel, and, uh, who died this summer. Yeah, he did. Um... And Bill Berg. <laughs> so that was a quite a win. But anyway, yeah, I played with the Jets. I played with the Rangers, I think. Yeah, Mark Osborne. He works for Leafs TV now, or I don't know. Yeah, he's in broadcasting. I got a guess. I got a guy who just signed today. We're sh shooting this on Tuesday, obviously for Thursday. But Maxim Finneganov. That's funny. So we were just talking, just talking about, about him before we turned the camera on. That like for eight hundred grand, eight hundred thousand dollars for that's pretty cheap. That's nuts. Now he's pretty feeble, like pretty injury prone, yeah. but got some good skills. Oh man, that's, that's good price for him. Teaming him up with Kolachak and Antropov. Antropov, who's it going to have a breakout year, of course. <laughs> now he's off the now leaves. Now he's off the leaves. Exactly. Sky's the limit, man. <laughs> Yeah, one time, uh, at least up, up to here, 73 points in 0506. So, like, for the price, I know it's just a one year contract, but hell of a pickup. Yeah. 
Um, speaking of contracts or lack thereof, here's somebody that had a coaching job last year and was let go. I got Craig Hartsburg here for the Minnesota North Stars, Ottawa's coach last oh. year that was uh, was squeezed out. I don't know if due to Heatley or. <laughs> You no, know, he really didn't like the incoming coach. He doesn't like. The, the, like we could spend a whole thirty minutes talking about Heatley. Yeah. Um, so let's talk about Craig Hartsburg. Uh, yeah, Hartsburg had a really good playing career. Uh, drafted pretty high in the '79 draft. It was huge. I like Craig Hartsburg, so I know a little bit more about him than Mark Osborne. Um Yeah, the big draft with Ravage and Vibe and Gardner and Felino. He was right in there, fifth or sixth. But yeah. Played in the Sioux, coached the Sioux, coached Wealth, <coughs> coached Anaheim. So he had a good playing career, good coaching career, well, maybe not a good coaching career. <laughs> but he's had, he had a good playing career. Represented Canada numerous times. Uh, a pretty solid defenseman. Matt Cullen. Here with uh, the Carolina jersey on, but New York in the corner. Uh, I don't know much about Matt Cullen. I don't even know where he is now. I what year are these? These are all six or seven. I thought he was back with Carolina. I thought he was in Carolina too. So I don't know where the transition happened, but it said he went to the Rangers and then maybe back. I don't yeah, know. I thought he was a hurricane. Yeah, he's probably a hurricane. I don't he's know. Right. Center. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. We'll see. Yeah, nothing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got a, a guy we've had before. He's got like a weird band. They're starting to. Band. Anyway, I got Mark Hunter here, who looks uh, relatively disappointed. Um, <laughs> oh man, looks yeah. like he's gonna cry. What? Mark Hunter here, the current GM of the London Knights, um, brother of Dale and Dave Hunter. I think we had a brothers Hunter card. Yeah. Um, that's a mediocre playing career. Montreal here, played for St. Louis, played for Hartford. 